In this video series, you'll get started with Godot. This is the video version of the official docs getting started series, which I got to rewrite some time ago. If you're new to Godot, this series is for you. It's beginner friendly and designed for people who have little to no programming experience. You'll learn the engine's essential concepts and features hands-on. We'll mix explanations that help you understand what something is and why it matters, and you'll get to practice those new techniques directly. If you're new here, welcome to GD Quest. I'm Nathan, and I'm here to help you become a game developer with Godot. In this intro video, we'll go briefly over what Godot is. Just briefly, because we have a dedicated video for it. Godot explained in 5 minutes. If the engine's new to you, I highly recommend you watch it. Then, I'll tell you what you need to know to learn Godot and programming. You'll get several free options to do so. In the next video, you'll get an overview of Godot's most essential concepts. Scenes, nodes, the scene tree, and signals. We'll dive into each of them in greater detail in upcoming tutorials. You'll get a new part every Thursday, so if you haven't already, you should subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's talk about what Godot is and the programming languages it supports. Godot is a feature-packed 2D and 3D general-purpose game engine. It means you can use it for all sorts of projects, from applications to about any game, like the old-school 2D RPG Kingdom of the Dump, the political strategy game Rogue State Evolution, the space shooter Gravity Ace, or the procedural modeling application Proton Graph. The engine comes with a fully-fledged editor in which you can design levels, code, do animation. It comes with many tools like its style map and animation editors. Godot supports multiple programming languages. For scripting, the two main options are the tightly integrated GDScript, a language designed specifically for Godot, and c a popular option among game developers. At this time, you can code GDScript directly in Godot. There are official plugins for Visual Studio Code and Emacs if you prefer another editor. For c you'll find plugins for Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio. There's also a visual scripting language, Visual Script. At the time of recording, it's a bit tedious to use. Hopefully, it'll get better over time. Finally, I'll mention Native Script, also called GD Native. This technology allows you to write game code in C, C++, Rust, and more without recompiling the engine. It's great if you need to write some performance-intensive code. Now, if you're completely new to programming, to make the most of Godot, you'll need Programming Foundation. I'll give you two free options to learn that in a second, but first, let me explain. Godot is an accessible tool thanks to its editor. However, to make your games, you can't get around coding. Even if you use visual programming tools, you're still coding. And to code any game idea you have, you need Programming Foundations. Precisely, you need to learn to think like a programmer an essential skill that includes creative problem solving. If you're completely new to programming, Godot's a big game engine with thousands of features designed for professional game developers. And so if you jump into it unprepared, as with any game engine, you're going to hit tough obstacles and get frustrated. The way you get past that is by working on your programming foundations following a good course. Here are two free courses we recommend to work on your foundations. Harvard has an open courseware called CS50. It will teach you how to think like a programmer. This is really the best intro to programming I know. You'll get an overview of different programming languages and they will help you understand how code works in general, not just with a specific technology. If you prefer books, R. Stewart's Automate the Boring Stuff with Python is a hands-on course to automate tasks on your computer, so it's really practical from the start. Now, you're here to learn to make games, and so I get it. Maybe you don't want to learn these other programming languages. First, you can follow those courses on the side as you learn Godot. You don't have to stop the video and spend weeks with them. Second, following either course will really benefit you when learning Godot or any game engine, really. You have to see it as an investment. You'll spend, okay, a few dozen hours getting solid foundations to save many, many more and avoid frustration later. Maybe you'd like to learn the basics with Godot directly. If that's the case, we have some intro to programming concepts with Godot's GDScript, a free hands-on course, and this series is for people new to Godot. You can learn to code exclusively with a game engine if you really want to. But again, maybe you'll get stuck and you won't understand why or how to get over that roadblock. And that's true of all game engines, because game programming is tough and there's a lot to learn. Bookmark the courses I showed you, learn and enjoy learning Godot, and if you hit a roadblock, remember what I told you and please check out either of those 
free programming courses. You can find the links in the description below. Okay, so that was the first part of our Getting Started with Godot series. In the next part, we'll go over Godot's four essential concepts. Scenes, nodes, the scene tree, and signals. You'll be working with them all the time in the engine, so it's useful to go over them. In later lessons, we'll dive into each of them in greater detail and with hands-on examples. You'll get one video every week on Thursday, so subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already, so you don't miss any of them. We've made tons of free Godot tutorials already. If you can't wait for more, you can get a selection of our best free tutorials and resources. For that, head to our website and enter your email. You'll get them right in your inbox. The link should be on the screen and at the top of the description below. Be creative, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.